Let's see if it works. I've got a pretty straight shot. I wasn't snacking. No, never. So in our line of work, which is building fence and installing heat operators, we have to be worried about utilities on the ground. So there's a utility right there. That's where power comes in. So this nice thing, which is the power meter. A lot of the times, it will mark to the meter anything beyond the meter is known as private. So what do we do? We have to know where all that stuff is to be able to do our job safely. We're going to show you how to locate all that stuff and what we have found and what we use to locate it. I know what you're thinking. We just use our auger and oh my gosh, we found a utility. That happens sometimes, but that's how we try not to locate utilities. We have found that there's a much better way. So let's do that. Pringle. So we use this thing. They give you a little ni a nice man purse, a man's bag, a merce. They give you a nice merce. So we are using the. Sh Hold on, bear with me. We are using the Shonsted. Sean Stid. Sean Stid. We're using that. Well, you want to play with the little metal detector first? Let's see if it works. Woo. Yes, yes, that works. There's something metal in this area. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate our clamp on this. Outgoing power from the meter to that there mobile home. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze it, cause it to go back around that conduit and gently set it back down on the ground. As soon as we hit the power button on the transmitter, it's going to know exactly what it's doing. And it says CLA because it knows it has a clamp attached to it, so I don't have to do anything. The frequency that we're on is 33 kilohertz. So we're going to go ahead and turn our wand onto that. So now we're on 33 kilohertz. We match exactly what the frequency is that's coming off of the transmitter. I almost forgot the most important thing. When you're trying to locate a utility, it's a good idea to mark it. Because you're not just trying to find it for yourself, you're trying to find it for other people. So it's telling me that it's right here. If I come off, I got some numbers, I got some numbers, and it's the arrow's telling me to go that way. Oh, and it tells me it's right there again. What I like to do is I like to pull a depth to see if it's really giving me a good reading. So let's tell me it's one foot four inches. And just so we can all hear what it sounds like, I'll turn that sound back on. So when you hear that, when you hear that noise, it means you're on top of that utility. So one foot eight inches, it's still reading pretty dang accurate. And that's just going off that clamp. So there's no ground cable. We just have a uh, clamp placed around that conduit, sending a signal down that power line. So now we're gonna go ahead and we will go ahead and locate with the alligator clamp and a ground rod. We'll tie on to that gas meter right there and we'll see if we can't pick up the same reading. Our thing we do out, our transmitter, so we're gonna put, we're gonna hook our red. That all this is is just a tracer wire for the gas line, because the gas line is a poly pipe. In theory, if it's laid correctly, that tracer wire is gonna run right along with that gas line. You go ahead and put your ground clamp 90 degrees to which way you think that utility is running. Obviously, the utility is gonna be running away from the house. So instead of putting the ground clamp out here, we're gonna put it off to the side, and I'm gonna go that side. And then connect that. Turn our transmitter back on. So it took us straight to 512. So we're gonna go back to 33 kilohertz, and I'm gonna to go to 33 kilohertz. So the higher the frequency, 
the, the longer the signal will be down the, down the utility. So if you're going to be uh, marking or locating utility for really, really long ways, you probably do want to go to a higher frequency, such as the 88 or the 512. I'm getting a really strong signal. I'm getting uh, 999 just on my readout. I'm a little bit to the right side of their locate. Oh no, oh no, we lost it. Aha, it goes this way. So that means it goes that way. So it's safe to say that the gas line does come to a T and this is where the service line runs. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna push this line with an arrow down right here. We're gonna push that. So it's telling us that there was two feet, two feet five inches from the top of the ground to that wire is what this was telling us. The last thing that we can do, let's go ahead and demonstrate the non-conductive or the, the in, what is that? Inconductive. So that is where we take that transmitter and we're not going to have anything attached to it. And we're going to set it in such direction that it's going to travel with the utility in the way that we think it is. I'm really thinking I need a Merce so that way I can put all my snacks in it. You know, my Pringles, my Funyuns, Pepsis, and my Mountain Dews. There is enough space in there to the point where I can sort everything out. Just right on the front of this thing, it tells you, you can do a clamp, you can do inconductive, here you can do conductive. The first one that we did was a clamp. The second one that we just got done with with the gas line, that was conductive because we were, we attached directly to that wire. This one that we're gonna do now is inconductive. So this right here is cable direction. We're gonna take this and we're gonna put this on the ground the way that we think that cable runs. The cable we're talking about is this phone pedestal. We're gonna put this on the ground and it's hopefully gonna go pick up that utility and send a signal down that phone cable. And I think that the, the phone, I think it runs just straight up and down. And it reads that there's nothing attached and it automatically goes into in conductive mode. We're on 33 kilohertz again. So let's see what we can pick up. So it says there's something right there. And right here. You gotta remember that we're also doing this in conductive. So there's nothing attached to that phone cable and it is just sending a signal magically, magically through that, through that phone pedestal down those wires down here. I've got a pretty straight shot. Looking back, I can see that that, that would be my average of where my phone cable's going. I think that's a good locate. The one last thing we can do to go ahead and double check that is we can pull a depth measurement. Let's see if it does give us a, a depth on when you're doing in conductive. So that's just telling me one inch. When I put the depth, when I push the depth button, I can track where that utility is, but when I'm in the in conductive mode, I can't quite get a depth on it. All in all, using a locator, pretty simple, pretty easy. There is some learning curves to it. One more thing to to take into consideration and that is I am in no way telling you not to call 811 to get your locates done. Uh, it is the law to get your locates marked. It is the law to report when you are going to dig. All I'm telling you is if you are doing something beyond their marking within a private utility, here's an option for you guys to look at doing and a way to get those utilities located versus calling a private locator. One other thing you can do is you can also, just like we did with that gas line, you can verify 811's markings. Now, I'm off to locate one more thing. Huh. Yeah, I found it. Thank you, Seanstead. You have a good dang day.